Is DC Junmar Fajardo playing the four spot? Oh yeah, it, it will be very or, But he would be the five man, right? Right. Here's Junmar, first shot, it's good. Execution is the name of the game. Of course, world number six, Latvia, and world number 23, Georgia, who's in group A in the OQT in Latvia. Here's Ramos hitting a three winner, and Gilas Filipinas goes up five to none early in this game. Asian games last year. That's right yes. around where he hit that title clinching shot against San Miguel. That's in the, the mid range master in the mold of a DeMar DeRozan. That's what Musa brings to the table for Gilas Filipinas. We'll talk about the defense of Gilas. Well, when you talk about these uh, PBA superstars and these, uh, of course, national players who play outside. We'll try to get position. Oftana, he loves that spot. Gets the bounce on the three. Gilas up 12 to 2. And a timeout now requested by Taiwan. What a start for our national team, Coach Ronnie. Baskets coming off passes, execution, making sure that the ball moves. Key secret, or rather, key element here in the first quarter for a 10 point lead. 6 and 16 remaining here in the first. Good Commissioner Willie really Marshall and Congressman uh, Puno all helping out. Gilas Filipinas, as Fajardo shows us once again. First field goal scored by the Mustangs against Team Filipinas. But immediately answered back by the third three-pointer of Gilas Filipinas. He just needs to get a clean receive of that basketball. <laughs> and he knows what to do from there. The but key for the Guadalas to get that ball deep and closer to the basket. And Brownlee drops his defender. Made him touch earth. Mixing it up from outside and in. Jab left, go right, finish left. That's Justin Brownlee at his best. Such a simple move, Coach. And Kiambao, Coach, I remember before, he had played for you or with you in a 3-3 <laughs> team. Well. Yeah, Carl Tamayo as well. Carl Tamayo and Carla Bajano. And uh, even before that time, we knew that he was going to be very good. But he became very, very good at a very young age. Just down to a single possession game. 1.5 seconds left. Tamayo from our court. Knocks it down. A miracle of a shot. Here, the first quarter narrative. Up 22-7. Hurt by a 12-0 run by the Mustangs. But this diffuses the pressure and the tension as Carl Tamayo knocks in the final basket. A three-pointer at that. It's a 7-6 behemoth Sam De Guara. A shot by Tamayo over the giant of Taiwan. Perez. Look about extra pass. Tamayo from deep. No good. Perez, good deflection. The lob pass. Soto finds a way to get it in. And that's the passing of Kiambao that you were talking about. True. No look pass. From an opponent, a compatriot in the national team. So the best, the best in terms of uh, the future. The three after a 15 point bulge for the Philippines in the first 10 minutes. Soto gets blocked, recovers, and slams it home. That's allowed under the FIBA rules. So they can it's remaining in the first half. Nice oh, feed. Aguilar evading the defense of the Guara. Good overload on the right side. The Muslims haven't taken a lot of three-pointers, but they've made most of their attempts. They've made three. Out of four attempts as Aguilar. Right. As Aguilar once again shows us. 14 together with the likes of Jimmy Alapag, L.A. Tenorio, among others. Randel, Randel Del Campo. He was one of the youngest then. Yeah, that's right. He grew in the national team already. The, at the inside. But let's see how the Philippines will be able to give up those numbers. First touch, first possession. Philippines goes inside, courtesy of Kai Soto. Second quarter, uh, the second half, rather, if you're Gilas Filipinas. And then another steal on an entry pass. To Sam De Guara, that's definitely something we've done a good job at. Pati yung mga transition baskets, Coach Ronnie. With that more aggressive on the ball defense here for the Philippines. Well, in terms of offense, getting inside, also isolating Brownlee at the right elbow earlier. That was Kai Soto. Was dropped as he was being denied by Miller. Here's Brownlee now to Fajardo. Soft touch for the Giants of Gilas. 
Here's Newsom. Being given space, also hesitating to take the three. Nunu, kick out. Dwight for three. Yes! Dwight Ramos, three! And that's why Chris Newsom was patient in that last transition sequence. Getting the, the better shot, looking for the best available shot. And that is the best shot possible. Third three-pointer for Dwight Ramos, lead up to eight for Gilas Philippines. And Ramos is three for three from downtown. 46-38. Gilas up by seven. Three and 40 remaining in the third period. Thanks for joining us here for the send-off friendly game. Gilas hosting the Taiwan Mustangs. Brownlee taking a three, hitting it. The first three-pointer for Justin Brownlee in this game. And that is something that Justin Brownlee has. Seven points now for Kabayan JB. Ramos with a steal. Dwight Ramos. Takes it all the way! And of course, the presence of Justin Brownlee and Dwight Ramos. And Deguara just flips it up to no avail. Gilas again on the run. Brownlee will take it again. Back to Marcus for Justin Noiki. He now has 10 points, a double double already for Brownlee. This is what I was referring to earlier. First, the forced turnover, better on the ball defense, and then the Justin Brownlee magic. When the Philippines needs a basket, when we need separation, when Justin Brownlee needs to score, Justin Brownlee will find ways to score. He out of a sudden, all of a sudden. Once again, as Justin Brownlee and Dwight Ramos has exploded for eight straight points. And now everything is clicking for Gilas right. Filipinas. Two. Had to kick out. Deflected by over. Fajardo. Another steal for Jumar. Here's Ramos evading the Guara. Ramos. Been fouled. The Mostly on the ball. Mostly on the ball. This is what we were referring to earlier in terms of adjustments after the first two quarters. And that led to this third quarter surge as the Philippines has now erupted for 21 points after just 12 in the previous second quarter. Philippines has 18 assists on 23 made field goals. Make that 19 wow. assists on 24 made field goals. That's the fifth. Carty to Borja. The spin. Ben Borja sent back by Aguilar. It was a total of uh, 15 points to lead the way in scoring for the Mastangs against Gilas Filipinas. A good pass by Perez to Aguilar. Aguilar. Again, baskets coming off passes. Back. Gilas still getting the ball back. They move it around. Resetting their offense. Perez asking for a screen. Aguilar provides. CJ. No, Newsom with a board to Brownlee. Justin Brownlee. Newsom very unselfish. Brownlee rewarded. His pass taken away. Lopez to Miller. Blocked by Brownlee. This was a block earlier. Brownlee with an excellent timing. This lead is only eight. What a turnover by McCarthy. That's a key defensive stop here for the Philippines. Brownlee to Ramos. Money on the three. And again, a was deemed uh, to clip his defender. Look at this. Brownlee with 12 assists. Of uh, 13 assists out of the 21 for Gilas Filipinas. This place with so much control. Talking about Dwight Ramos and better accurate outside shooter. And that's another three for Gilas Filipinas. This time on the other corner by Mason Amos. The entire Gilas Filipinas bench. They close out against Amos. As you mentioned, a very good force spacer. Ramos. They go to Brownlee down in the post. There's a switch. And that is a well ran play. They saw the Guara switch to Brownlee, and that must have opened Kai Soto. Exactly. They get it to him. That was a cross match that led to Kai Soto being defended by a smaller cover. Another perfect feed coming from Justin Brownlee. Assist number 14, perhaps, or 15. Here's Otana. 
Down to the last 20 seconds. Guinness Filipinas will take the win here. What's the key takeaway here in this match, Coach? The defensive adjustments that have been made have been excellent in the last two quarters. Points of attack, as well as Kevin yeah. Kambao scores. Oh. First. The winner, Certainly Gina the way that Sirinia. we wanted to kickstart this preparation in their travels as we gear up for the FIBA OQT, like Coach Ronnie said, we're 10 days away from the competition. Away. And every step that we take as we get closer to those games is going to be very important.